Thank you for tuning in to the Ontario Singles Crokinole Championships of 2024. This is a quarterfinal match on the way to crowning this year's champion of the Ontario Singles. In this matchup, we have Justin Slater to your right and Darren Carr to your left. Two fantastic 20 shooters, and this is sure to be a great match. This is also a rematch from the World Crokinole Championships. I believe it was 2019 that these two squared off in the finals, with Slater coming out victorious in that match. As you'd expect, we're starting out with some 20s action. Both of these players seem to be dialed in. Started with a field of almost 50 participants in the, in the competitive side. And uh, morning round robin moved us into an A and a B field. And then uh, there were more round robin plays. I believe there was 12 in each of those pools. Top four moving on into the quarterfinals. These two are obviously having a good day. Darren first to miss, comes up a little bit short. We'll see if Slater's able to, I don't know if he was going for the 20. That looked a little hard for him to be going for the 20, but he got a nice roll out there regardless. Darren works play back in and that's slightly posted. Ah, not for Slater, he gets rid of that. Leaves it fairly close to the hole, but Darren has not much choice other than to go for a follow through, which he gets. What a fantastic shot. Back on the right side of this 20s race, Slater right back to business, evening up the 20 cup. Six 20s for Carr, Slater shooting for the tie, and he gets it. One point each. This is a race to nine. Looking at the highlights, it's mostly open 20s and that one fantastic follow through from Darren Carr. Slater to start, drains that first open 20. Ooh. Carr first to miss, leaves a heavy hanger for Slater. Let's see what he does with this, drains that 20. Nicely done up three to one in the 20 cup. Slater definitely in command here, having a 220 advantage. 120 advantage now. All he has to do is not miss, and he is quite good at that. <laughs> Darren comes up a little bit short. A little bit short again. Oh, Slater reaching for that one. He thought he had it. Darren drains that. Inconsequential at this point. Last couple, these are basically practice shots, getting ready for the next round. Slater secures his two points going up three to one. So you see Slater take advantage of these two offerings from Darren Carr. Darren getting a nice push 20 himself. Darren Carr first to act, drains that 20. See, there's a fair bit of interest there, uh, quite a bit of the gallery. We'll call them a gallery today. Sticking around to see the action. In the background, we have uh, Jeremy Tracy facing off against Andrew Hutchinson. Ron Langell is the closest one in the background there, taking in the action. And uh, Ron, fresh off a appearance at the, an appearance, at the finals of the U.S. Open. Him and Paul uh, Brubaker made it all the way to the finals and unfortunately for them lost in the finals to the Beerling brothers Ray and Jason who were crowned the US Open champions this year back to this action here we actually got something other than 20s going on as I say that he drains another 20 Darren up five. now we're tied in the 20 cup two shots left for each player Ooh, Slater goes a little bit long. Advantage Carr. If he can get the off and get away, he'll be in great shape. Nice push. That does not leave Slater with a lot of options. He has nothing but a follow through unless, uh, unless the angle looks different. Yeah, good push, but yeah, really great roll away from Darren Carr.
Knotted up three points each. Slater first to act. As we watch this absolute 20s battle, comment down below whether you've been following along some of these people that are taking on the uh, how many open 20s in a row can you get. Slater with a nice roll away there. Play to the outside, definitely advantage Slater right now. I'm guessing Darren's going to peel, there he goes. Force play back to the middle. May not seem like the best strategy against someone like Justin Slater to peel and give him another open 20, but without getting play back to the middle, Darren Carr stood zero chance of uh, fighting his way back into this round. All he can do now is hope for a mistake. And he does not get one. Slater secures another two points and goes up five to three. So we see what a money roll away from Justin. If he had rolled out further, Darren might have had an option to peel in. But uh, back to this action. Darren Carr first to act. Darren comes up a little bit short. That's a heavy hanger. Slater converts. Nice shot. At this point, Slater is ahead in the 20s race, so they're tied, but he's got the hammer, so he is in a very good position. Darren goes a bit long this time. Slater with another nice roll away. Leaves that nicely posted. See what Carr is able to do with this. Oh, denied. I think that was just a little snug to the post. Uh-oh. Slater going for the roll away. Rolls away a little too far. Darren evens up that 20 count, but still against the hammer. Oh, Slater need it was a valid shot to secure another two points going up seven to three. This is a race to nine, so Darren Carr now has his back firmly to the wall. Slater putting more pressure on, drains that open 20. Slater goes long and quite long. We'll see if Darren's able to get the off. Oh, I bet you that he did not mean to push in quite that far. He may have given Slater an opportunity. Oh, just needed a little more drift to, for that to drop. That is so close. See what Darren does here now. Is he going to go for the 20 or go for the roll away? Nice roll away. Very well played. Mm, left that a little closer than he meant to. Let's see what Slater's able to do with this. I believe that might be sitting in no man's land as you see him looking at his options. Yeah, I don't think he was going for the 20 there. I think he was uh, hoping for a better opportunity to present itself. He's left Darren with a tricky shot. You see Darren sizing things up, looking at his options. Is he able to get this off? Didn't even go for it. He obviously didn't feel like he could get that completely off. He moved it off the post, but unfortunately for him, moved it up against another post. Darren does have hammer. Nice. Oh, that was a great shot. Slater has to roll this one in. He needs to get the black disc off and get himself into the 15. Otherwise, if he stays out in the 10 or in the 5, all Carr has to do is take this one out, hit and stick in the 15. He decides to show off, get the double takeout. Great shot. Great strategy. Probably that was my favorite round of this match. Slater still with his back to the wall, or sorry, Darren Carr with his back still to the wall. And against the hammer in this round.
the way these guys are shooting, it's almost like they don't realize how important this match is. They just seem very relaxed. <laughs> and the 20s keep dropping. Immune to the pressure, apparently. Oh, as I say, that one just barely lips out. Darren now left with the decision again. Does he go for the 20? Taking a commanding lead in the 20 cup, or does he try for the roll away? Let's see what he's going to do here. Nice roll away. Slater still has an opportunity here, but that's going to be, yeah, a tough shot. The black disc ran interference after it was hit. Maybe another opportunity here for an off 20. See what Slater's able to do. Oh, he decides to stick that thing right up against the peg. Money shot. What a great shot and roll just outside the house, leaving Slater with almost nothing. Yeah, he was trying to trying to get Fancy Nancy to take that out and uh, come off a peg with his shooter. That was all he had. Great shot. Great strategy again. People may mistakenly watch a match like this and go, oh, it's nothing but 20s, it's nothing but 20s, but there's there's definitely been some strategy. Once they get away from that 20s race, learning how to control the board, leaving your, uh, leaving your opponent with poor options is crucial. Back to the action here. As I say, there's more to it than 20s. These two show that 20s is pretty dang important. <laughs> Slater leaving Kyra an opportunity to get back in this. There may be an off 20 opportunity here for him. Oh, he doesn't get either one. Tough. Kyra is down in the 20 cup, but he does have the hammer. Knight. He needed that. He needed that double takeout. Slater content to stick to the outside. He's like, Darren, if you want back into this round, earn it, my friend. You need a roll in 20. Oh, so close. Just rolls past. Fantastic board control from Slater. Leaves things back on his side. Darren does not have a lot of good options. He's going to need an off and, and utilize a peg, but it's just that's a terrible position for Darren. Yeah, going for the peg, rolls it outside. That pretty much seals the deal right there. Slater keeps playing on the outside. What a great match. Fantastic match. Thank you for tuning in. Keep watching because the semifinals is coming at you. The finals, the third place match. Like, share, subscribe for more Crokinole action. And whatever you do, make it a great day.